Greetings, what kind of man I mean? I'm getting drunk with my eye. The hidden city. That's what we're playing. Oh! The statue's staring at me now. I was standing there for so long, the statue was staring at me. Give me a moment. Sorry I'm such a mess. I just lost a patient and a dear friend. Julia. She was a good woman. What happened? She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of sylphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friends like that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here, with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her, or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule, <coughs> or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Get me that Sylphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day, or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetric Fututo and scratching his eyes out. I'll see what I can do. What's your story? I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Navia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. How did you end up here? My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked and turned into an awful philanderer. I would have divorced him and demanded the return of my dowry, but I knew he would sooner have me killed than give me my right. So I waited for the right time to take what was mine and disappear. And then the fires came. As he prepared to evacuate our villa, I gathered our most precious belongings, coins and gemstones, and the moment his back was turned, I ran. I could barely see for the smoke and the streets were full of people trampling each other. I ran for the river, like everyone else, and leapt in. The next thing I remember, I was waking up on a riverbank, not far from here. Sorry to hear that. That sounds very familiar. That sounds exactly how it happened to me. Waking up, uh, waking up on a riverbank.
next to the room, next to the entrance to, to the cave that contains the ancient city. It's alright. Say what you will about this place. At least my fornicating husband will never find me. And while there's no shortage of snakes here, at least with the golden rule, they have to try to be discreet about it. Oh, this shrine was in use as a clinic long before any of us arrived here. Kind of strange to set up a clinic in the temple of the god of disease. But the god who inflicts a curse is also the only god who can undo it. So, I suppose praying to Apollo for healing kind of makes sense. Yeah. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good, too. Until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues, like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside, and nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. Well, that's not but I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem. A real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflamed, and he's in constant pain. Go on. I really shouldn't say. He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scary. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him, assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. So what I can do? I suppose. Some people here need proper medical care, not the half-baked, hanging-by-a-thread excuse for treatment I'm giving them. Just don't get sick or injured here. I'll do my best to treat you, but I'm out of my depth and dangerously short on everything you can imagine. A city without sin might sound good on paper, but whoever dreamt it up didn't think it through. Maybe it was an attempt to create some kind of utopia. But snakes Attention. like Decius will always find loopholes to exploit. And what can we do about it? Absolutely nothing. In some ways, we are worse off because we can't take the law into our own hands. Oh no. Sorry, I don't mean to worry you, but... No, that is definitely not normal. There was one other person who claimed she could hear the statues talking to her. But that was Nevia, and uh, she went a little mad. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good, too. Until she suddenly lost all interest in oh us. My. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. The last I think I do. Her, the statues the are still... The her, people in the statues are still alive. Statues. Like she could talk to them. That's and why I was hearing the whispering from them before. The before I even got, got to this time. Because they were and still alive. She's been the golden so state that they're in is a form of petrification. Something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else They're to still know there. But I really wish I could reach her. Because Wait until after I finish the video doing phone calls. Troubling problem. A real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible yes. 
His joints are inflamed and he's in constant pain. Yes. Yes. Go on. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him, assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. I'll see what I can do. Yes, I suppose. Lulia. What do you want to know? Uh, do you think she was poisoned or was it self-inflicted? Do you really want to know? I mean, if somebody poisoned her, then surely they would have broken the golden rule. And so maybe it's best we don't discuss it. Do you know what poisoned her? Hemlock, I believe. Hemlock. Is there any reason she may, why she may have wanted to die? I haven't seen her in months. She's not allowed to leave Maliolas's villa. And they are quite secretive. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. I sense I know, might have another suspect in mind. Gladly. Well, I have to go. come back if you get sick or injured. Day or night, I'll do what I can. Sure. Those statues are doing kind of a weeping angel type of bullshit. I need to speak with uh, uh, Navia or find the solution another way. Reach Navia in the palace. I can do that. Where's the palace? Is that the palace? That looks like the palace. How do I get up there? That does look like a palace, so how do I get up there? This one's with their ears, huh? It still looks like a zip line. It's a bird. God damn you! Found producing fresh water, but where could the water be coming from? All the statues will constantly look at me now. God damn it. The statues are all looking at me. Look at those zip lines, though. This is interesting. This was tipped over. Seek a bow? I'm locking myself in. Don't try to follow me. Nothing good will come of it. Navia. Of course you're looking at me. Those are arrows. Yep, all the statues are, are doing the whole weeping angel thing now. The assassin's bow?
Yep, they're all doing a weeping angel thing now. Yep, I, I don't I don't like this because all the statues are now are now weeping angels. Or the equivalent of it. I speak with their tongues. Why are you staring at me? They're all doing the weeping angel thing. I speak with their tongues. One of them wants me to find a bow, and in, and another one says they they speaks with their tongues. So someone can see, someone can see, speak and hear through the statues. That is not good. But I need a bow. I need to get a get my hands on a bow somehow. I should have had that gun. Oh, well, it's another time. There's always another playthrough. I get the feeling the bow would help me traverse some areas here. Because I need a zip line to get up there. No, I don't. Butterflies. Looks like I can climb this area. Did I just... I climbed this. So I'm up here now. Okay. I don't know what I just did that time. I want to replicate it. Let me back up there. Okay, so I need to find a way to get up there. I'm not going to be able to do it this way. Okay, so what else do I need to do? Talk to more people. Try to persuade Desis to hand over this, that stuff. Okay. I could try to do that. Some extra stuff I need to, I need to do. There's a zip line going down. Oh my god, I found the toilet. It's the bathroom. Oh my god. Translate. Theophilies uh, had an orgy four with girls. four girls here and disappointed all of them equally. <laughs> Stop looking at me! Toilets. Communal public toilets. These holes must be designed 
for use with the sponge on a stick. That is disgusting. Always remember they're watching. Yeah, that's true. All the statues are watching me. You can see the poop. You can. The statues are all watching. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm going to see if I can climb up here. This is a room. I'm dead. Probably you. No, a collapsing building killed me. Uh. A collapsing building killed me. Lovely. That's one fast snail. There's a snail running down the back of the, uh, inside the aquarium there, and it's going really quick. Oh, wow, look at it, Cole. He's big, too. Yeah. Come back to me once you've acquainted yourself with the rest of our neighbors. Okay. Yep, they all do the Weeping Angel thing no matter what I take. So, I gotta go back to... Have a chat. Where was I? The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh, God. doing the weeping angel thing yeah time to get some money That is not very pleasant. Salve, Dooley. How are you doing today? I'm sad. Am I going to die? I don't think so, my friend. It's election day today. Perhaps our new magistrate will be kind of... Brass mirror. I'd let you out. Cosmetics jar. That thing. A small household shrine where ancient Romans are daily prayers for protection. Shopping list, huh? Uh, list of his plans by once he's, once he's escaped. Ooh. Locked up. <laughs> anyway. Thank you all so much for joining the experience. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button to raise hell. Subscribe to see more, and I'll see you in the next video. So long.